G'day, my name is Chris Mouflard and I am a project engineer at Digo Software. Welcome to the Production Controlling Video Training Series Level 1, Control Mode and Entering Activity Progress. In this vignette, we'll discuss what is Control Mode, how we access the control chart, and how we enter activity progress into the control chart. Control is arguably the most important component of Vico Schedule Planner, as the ability to monitor, control a schedule is essential to the successful execution of a project plan. It doesn't matter how sophisticated it is, or indeed how simple it is. If it is not followed, then it rapidly becomes difficult to forecast the future of the project. We have three basic controlling tools within Vico Schedule Planner. We have the first, which you are familiar with, from the previous vignettes, which is our planning mode. The second is control mode. This is where we'll enter actuals and be able to trend future project behavior. We will also have history mode, which we'll learn more about in the last level of the production controlling vignettes. I suggest that you create a series of custom views that would suit each of the individual subcontractors by project sequence and each of the schedule phases, which will be tracked throughout the project. This makes the work more definable and clear as we start to distribute this information to the different project participants. In our side navigation tool, we can head to the control view view set. Click on this and select the schedule task control chart. This super visual tool allows us to understand the progress of the schedule. Each of the different boxes is coordinated to a different actualization. The green boxes indicate that the task is actualized complete, whereas yellow indicates that a task is in progress but running late, blue, a task is in progress or running early, red, a task is delayed and has not yet to begin. If it has a diagonal line through it, this indicates that the task is suspended. There's a useful key in the bottom section of the control chart which helps identify. Within an activity box, we have the should start LBMS optimization date, and if the box is marked complete, we then have the actualized complete and actualized finish date. Where if a box is in progress, we have the actualized start date and a percentage complete for that activity within that location. Within the different view sets, we have the opportunity to follow the can calendar, use an overscore to crosshatch each of the different locations that are complete or in progress. We can show the name slanting if we need additional space. We also have the ability to show free locations. Free locations are marked with an overshaded of gray, which indicates that a predecessor or another prerequisite has yet to be satisfied. We can also show the prerequisite warning if a prerequisite has yet to be completed before this task can commence. Now within the control chart, we won't be able to alter or enter actuals unless we are in control mode. We will need to enter control mode to get started. When we press the clock button, we can see that we have the addition of the current schedule date. This allows us to select the date of the report. It is suggested to not follow the calendar, but select the date that you wish to report on. This is because as you start to progress in status data and you look at the file, you may get skewed information as the date will progress based on your calendar day. Let's update the calendar day to the 15th. We can see as we can change the calendar date, the control chart will update itself. Let's start by actualizing the concrete slab on grade pour in slab on grade location one. We can do this by double clicking on that task. We can enter a unit begun and unit completion date. Because we've selected the 15th within the current time calendar, all actualized data will be from that date. We also have the option to adjust it to a different date if this task was completed earlier than the current time based in our schedule. Note that the slab on grade pole one is now marked green. Finally, we'll review the rebar task to slab on grade three. Within this view, we can add an actual. This advanced view provides us with additional information for tracking production of different activities by location. We can see here that we have a beginning date and a developing date. We also have a marked completion of 15%. We can add an actual in this event, and we're going to change that percentage complete to 80. We can see that the actual tonnage of the rebar installed comparative to the overall cumulative. We can add another actual, and under the events dialog, 
we can suspend the activity. We can now suspend this activity at the end of the working day. The hour column is relative to when a task begun, developed, suspended, or completed. Alternatively, if we wanted to suspend multiple days, we could select the edit actuals function. Days which are highlighted indicate days that have been worked. If we wanted to add Saturday as a working day, we could simply highlight it and press OK. In this unit, we learned how to activate production controller using the control mode function. We also learned how to navigate to the control view and access the control chart where we can enter production quality actuals.